And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Expo 1906. This is a game about you are a scientist and you are bringing different inventions and showing them off to different people and scoring points that way. Uh, that's, that's that. I mean, you probably want to see how the game works, so here we go. So here's a bit of the board that's going to be set up. Each player is also going to have a player board, and on this board are like some junk spots, and you're going to have to use actions to get those off so you can build tiles on them. And what players are going to be doing over the course of this game is they're going to be building projects, and projects are little Tetris shapes. And these projects are going to require a certain number of resources to score points. It's printed on them. And so you're going to take these tiles and put them down. So this tile would do nothing for this project. But uh, perhaps, let's see, um, this tile. If I put this tile like this, it's providing two gears to this project. If I place it like this, it's providing the two gears and the wooden dowel to the, to the project. So the way you place these, and they can provide things to more than one project. So if this was here, you could see that these two gears are being provided to both projects. When you completely have things surrounding a project, you're going to score that project. Now, the way that, that each round works, and there's 10 rounds in the game, uh, players are going to be playing one of the action cards from their hand. Now, when you play a card, the restrictions are you cannot play the same card that the person right before you played. Now, this card here, Skyscraper, is pretty simple. It increases your funding, so you'll keep track of your funding here. Journal increases, you can take one of your tokens over here, and each player has three tokens, and start moving it down one of these tracks. You can even move from one track to the other on the arrows, but sometimes that costs money. When you get to the last spot on the track, you'll pick one of these bonus victory point tiles. And so this one at the end of the game, each project shape you have is worth a point. And then, so I'm going to score that if I'm on it. Also, if you get your pieces into this area by the end of the game, they're worth a victory point. So if you see one of these that you think you'll like, you might want to move into that spot. But each of these is also tied to one, one of six different resources. And whenever you build a project, if you are the leader on a track, you get one point for each spot that you're the leader in when you're building that project. So Journal lets you do that. Train Station lets you take and buy these tiles that are here. And there's all sorts of tiles. The number of players determines how many are there. And they, these are replaced each round. And there's a cost. One to buy one, three to buy two, and six to buy three of them. And then the Academy lets you buy these projects here. It lets you buy these technologies. These are giant tiles, but they provide four resources to everything around them. Or improvements. Now, what's cool about the improvement cards is when you buy one of these, you have to find a spot to put it on here. It doesn't provide anything, but it takes up spots on your board. And then you'll replace the corresponding card with that. So now you're, if you play the funding, you get six dollars. You can move even farther, um, four spaces, and it even costs one less space. Um, you can buy, take this one, which gives you a reduced price when buying tiles, or this one, a reduced price when buying tiles. Um, and the laboratory lets you, lets you move four tiles in or out of your laboratory, which is your own personal board. And so I should mention that's the other action, the laboratory, where normally you can move three. The upgraded version lets you move four. And then finally, the meeting room. Nobody can play the meeting room as their first card, but after that, when you play a meeting room, if someone chooses to do so, the round ends. And then they choose two actions. They can move one thing one. Uh, normally, the card lets you move three. They can uh, take out one tile. They can take one dollar. So they're going to choose two of these. Or they can use the jury. Now, the jury up here is basically determining what kind of uh, energy source they're looking for, mechanical or electrical. You'll see there's two electricals here. Normally when a round ends, someone will draw one of these randomly and add it here. At the end of the game, whichever one there's more of, those players who have those types, each, each uh, project is going to be either mechanical, like this triplane here, or it's going to be uh, energy, like this electric uh, radiograph. Anyway, whoever you'll get two for each of those, whichever one of these has the most. So the person who plays the meeting room that ends the end of the round can, as one of their actions, choose whether to add mechanical or electrical, or they can just draw randomly. So that will happen often because you'll want to do two of the other actions. 
The game ends after 10 rounds or after there's a bonus tile on all of these. Um, and then players will get points if they have tokens in here. They'll get points here. For example, every eight victory points gives you another victory point if you're on this, or this one simply gives you three victory points. So which, if you have tokens on these, those will give you more bonus victory points. And you'll get victory points for having tiles that match the, whatever the jury has decided, electrical or engineering. Most victory points, winner of the game. Now there's some things I really love about the game. The thing I think I like the most is the technology. I love, I love games where you play a card and take the action, and I love the fact that you can upgrade and get a card no one else has. Your card's a little bit better. Maybe my card gives me a little bit more money. Maybe my card lets me do this. And I think some of those upgraded cards are better than others. Some are better at the beginning, and they're not as good, useful as the game goes by. And I find it fascinating that you, those technology, when you take it, it's a tile that takes up spot on your board, and your board's pretty crowded. So that's a, you know, that, that's a tough decision to make. I mean, it's easy to take one. Taking two, I don't know. Moving across the tracks is also interesting because you can move and sometimes shift. Sometimes you want to be the first one over. You're trying to figure out what bonus points you want to get at the end of the game. And so that's kind of fascinating to me how that works. I'm not so, so sure I'm keen on the rule where when I play a card, the person who's after me cannot play the exact card I just played. I don't really get that rule, right? Like, I'm taking money. Ha, oh, you can't take money. You got to play a different action. Okay. I'm not sure what the reasoning for that rule is. Maybe it's so that everyone plays the exact card, so that's forcing people to do different style turns. But then the game should encourage that. I felt like that's a forcing rule. Not a big fan of that. Um, I also felt like the game was slightly too tight. As you're putting these, these uh, tiles down, I felt like, oh, okay, I got to get the right tiles, and there's a lot of work to get what you need. However, the game does come together. The, the, the palette of the game is a little mottled. It's a little dull. Um, uh, 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 an expo should be exciting and interesting and new excitement, and I feel like the whole game has a very dull look. People come by and go, that doesn't look very interesting. And it is interesting, but it doesn't look interesting. So overall, my thoughts on the game, I, I enjoy it. It's the right length. It has some tile placement and some card playing and all that works together in a good way. It's just that I feel like this game is gonna be forgotten in a year. So it's a good game and I approve it. I just don't love it. Um, so uh, if you're, but the theme is a cool idea. And if you look at all the different tiles and cards and there's inventions and that stuff is neat. And again, I think that the upgrading your card is a cool concept. I'd like to see some of this used in other games. Well, it actually has, but that card concept has been played in other games. But either way, certainly one that some people are going to want to check out. That is Expo 1906. Dice Tower Judgment, barely, but approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah.